Just about every major holiday or celebration involves treats, especially when it comes to kids. And we should be able to enjoy occasional treats or sweets, but everything in moderation. Too much fat, too much sugar, too many calories isn't good for us. Today we're going to show you how to incorporate healthier treats and how to teach your kids to have some treats without going overboard. And with us today to show us how to do that is Joanne Recton. Hi, Pat. Hi, Joanne. Joanne is the new wellness coordinator with the Owen J. Roberts School District and a freelance cooking and food and nutrition writer. That's right. So, so let's start out by, by talking about bringing everything into balance because that's really what our focus is today. It is. What we can remember is celebrations are wonderful times that don't have to be focused just on the food. Right. It's also about having fun. So we're looking at how to bring fun into our celebrations through games and activities and especially things that the kids will enjoy. Right. I think we've really gotten away from some of that because you know when we think of Halloween for instance, first thing we think of is Candy. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Particularly in the classroom, you can really run into problems. Parents want to be involved, and everybody sends in candy, and before you know it, you have a mountain of candy. Yeah. And what the kids really want to do is have fun. So if you plan some um, dress-up games or other activities, treasure hunts, then they'll remember that special celebration. You, you have some fantastic ideas for providing some healthier treats because even though we know it's important to do things that are non-food centered. Bottom line, we're going to have food at some of these parties. So, so what are some of the things that we want to do? Yeah, because food is a big part of being together and enjoying one another. But what's um, one thing that get the kids to eat things that are good for them that still feels like a treat is to bring in their involvement. And you can do that in a lot of different ways and with a lot of variety. Um, you can have them help make smoothies. They love that. They love to press the buttons uh, on the blender. And um, you can make a couple right. at a time in a classroom or, you know, at home home, you know, one at a time, and, and they're very nutritious, and they get to pick, you know, do you want strawberry or blackberry, and then it gets, they get right. to own it, and, and they really like that. And, and I love fun little things like this, just like the colored straws and a piece of fruit the on the The kids edge. love that, and they're really yeah. enticed to enjoy it that way. That's they great. really are. Another idea is a salad bar. I've had a lot of success with this when my kids were all ages, from okay. little to teenagers. They love to be able to choose what they're, you know, creating on their plate. So, okay. so when you put out a spread like this with a lot of different options, they're even apt to try things that they haven't tried before. Oh, that's neat. That's a great idea. I think that's something that we don't think of creating at home as right. our own salad bar. Yeah, and it's not hard. Or, it's, or creating in the classroom, rather. Yeah. Exactly. The classroom's yeah. another great opportunity to do that. And you've right. got a lot of different colors, and it's exciting and fun even just to look at Terrific. before you get started. And that, another idea is a snack mix. Um, having the kids make their own. If you put out different kinds of cereals, pretzels, dried fruits, nuts, then they can create their own customized snack mix or granola. Same kind of thing. Kids love that. You can give them a bowl or a little bag, and you know, and um, they right. love doing that. That's and then a you've great got, idea. Yeah, as well. it's it's all about involvement. Getting them to be the ones to mix it up and make the choices. And they're really more apt to try different things That's when they right. get to choose rather than you just get trying to give them something healthy. Right. Here's the pretzel. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, another idea is a yogurt parfait. Okay. And kids love these. And if you just set out some fruit and some yogurt, um, some cereal or granola, right. um, even crushed cookies, you know, they're getting a sure. lot of good stuff. And look how beautiful they're the really raspberries neat. look on there. There's different layers and blueberries. And the, the kids like, you can even um, teach them with a long spoon to kind of dig in there and make a, um, a little landscape with the, with the parfait. And, and they, like, they really like that. Super, super. And I guess create your own granola as well, That the same type of thing it's, with the snack It is the same or? concept. It is okay. the same, same concept. Okay. One thing that I like to do to entice kids to eat vegetables is to have a little contest. So make, um, especially before a party, make three kinds of dip, and then you can um, uh, get the vegetables out and give kids those three different dips and have them do a silent ballot. 
and, nice. and vote on the favorite dip. And you can get nice. a lot of good discussion and playful interaction that way. And um, you can even, you know, give a prize for the favorite dip and then send the kids home with the recipe. Terrific. So, yeah. Terrific. Kids love, I know they, they just love to dip things and they're more likely they to eat They do like dipping. Vegetables. They do. Yeah, anything they do. that's fun. And speaking of fun, you have some ideas for, for sandwiches, cutting them into fun shapes. That's right. That's a great way to get kids um, excited about eating. I know my sister-in-law could uh, even talk her kids out of fast food easy by saying that we're going to go home and have bunny sandwiches or something like that. So the kids great. like the shapes and you're more apt to be able to get them to eat the whole grain breads and things when you cut it out. And you can cut out wraps as well as bread. You know, so if you make a sandwich out of a wrap, you can use little cookie Terrific. cutters and cut those out. Kids great. like that. And they can great. do that themselves too. And when we talk about, about fun, we talked about bringing in some holiday-oriented mm -hmm. plates and bowls and things like That's that. That's right. That if you're going to serve the healthy food, you might as well have a fun plate to That's serve right. it Isn't in. That's right. Isn't that cute? They're more likely to eat something like that. Yeah, fill that yeah. bunny with vegetables, and they're going to dive after it. How about the candy question, Joanne? Because so many of these holidays do involve candy. They do. They do. And it can be a lot of candy, and that's where it really gets to be the problem. So um, what we want to do as caretakers is really help kids to be able to manage that. Okay. And there are a few different strategies to, to make that more successful. Um, one is when that candy comes into the house, find a central place in the kitchen where you're going to be eating, where that candy is stored. Because if you let the children kind of pack it away in their bedroom, you have no idea what's going on and why they're not eating dinner for don't, night after night. Don't let them hoard it. Right. That's right. That's right. right. Okay. Um, so that's, that's a great strategy. Okay. Another idea is to get them to eat something healthy before they have candy. Terrific. So when they're coming home from school and they're hungry and ready to grab that candy, Offer them something healthy first. That's wonderful. Or say, you know, you can have candy for a dessert after dinner. Right. Time again, I hear parents say that in the end, their kids forget about the candy yeah. after a few days anyhow, that they don't really miss it. So that's yeah. great. We have uh, some more ideas uh, about making celebrations healthy on our website. And that website is www.pottstownfoundation.org. You can log on and look for some healthy recipes and look for some ways ways to, to keep the holidays healthy. And again, allow your kids to have some treats. Absolutely. But everything in moderation. And we want to remember there's other things besides food. There's other ways to have fun at the Correct. holidays. That's Absolutely. Great. Joanne, thank you so much for joining yeah. us. We really appreciate it. And again, it's PottstownFoundation.org. If you want to help your kids eat healthfully during the holidays, you don't have to ban all the treats, but try to set some limits on the amount of high sugar, high fat, high calorie foods that your kids eat. Get them involved with making some healthier foods like yogurt parfaits and smoothies and homemade granola. And think about other activities besides food that can make the holidays special. Chances are they won't even miss all that candy.